Where is it, Abs? Oh, he's climbed up the tree now. No, he's right there. Where? Oh, I see him. Oh, yeah, we've got some mushrooms with Abs. What are they? I think they're parasol mushrooms. So out. today we've decided to come out to the wonderful Clumber Park and that is literally on piece. our doorstep. Oh, and Abby's found a big log where people hammer coins into. You found it first. I did, didn't I? Is and there a load of coins on the end? Oh, there's quite a few coins hammered in Are here. Look. Quid coins. Quid there's coins? There's well, you're not taking them anyway. Why? You little scoundrel. <laughs> so we've come to see if we can get a few nuts, nuts, nuts and, conkers. and apples. Oh yeah. So let's go and have a look if we can find some more chestnuts on this magnificent tree. I mean, look at the size of it. It's humongous. <laughs> Careful, they're prickly. I think the squirrels will have been into them all. <gasps> There's one. It's come out of its shell. And do my own. Look, they're not quite ready yet because we're a little bit early in the season. But still, yeah, we can just keep having a look around, Abs. Yeah. See what we can find. Might be able to find a few brown ones. I think next week, what? next weekend, they'll all be ready. I just cracked that open. Yeah, that was a, an acorn, I think. Mm. Wow. She's a big old tree. Mm -hmm. Really big. And of course, you cannot come to Clumber without having a peek at their magnificent church or chapel. Clumber Chapel. There she goes. On the steps, Abby. Have you seen that keyhole? Yeah, there's like stones blocked in it. Somebody's put stones in it, have they? Yeah. Oh, the sausages. It's in the shape of a shield, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's a shield shaped it's like keyhole. To knock. Yeah. It's a beautiful door, and isn't it? Can tell it's super duper old because of all the spider webs. Yeah. Look at this, do you know what this is for? No. This is to wipe the mud off your feet. Rebellion. Before you go in. Well, you haven't been on muddy ground yet, have you? <laughs> oh, what a wonderful morning it's turned out to be. Look, there's a photographer over there with his tripod. I that was my nickname at school. I dare you and me to go super close to do these and I The honky both. ones? Yeah. Oh. Both of us. Come on then, let's go and have a look at them. But don't get too close because I watched a video where um, the geese attacked a girl. What was it called? When geese attack. <laughs> when geese attacked a girl. <laughs> I think we'll be able to get close to them. Go on then, see how close you can get. Don't be scared. They're friendly. Oh, they're not. Having a bit of a fight. Anyway. Let's go near the white Let's go up there to where the cafe is. And we can get a coffee. Yeah, and now I'm getting a tea. Oh, look, there's Mum and Dom. We beat ya! They're doing their own thing. So we found, Abs, come back a sec. A bit of a fairy ring. If you look at the mushrooms, they start there. Abs. Then they run around and they start to come back over there. You see that one there? Yeah. Yeah, it works all the way around the ring to here. Let's go and see what kind of mushrooms they are. Well, I'm no exploit. But I think these could be clouded agarics, like what we saw earlier on. But I've not seen them growing in a ring before. 
one. Yeah, there's a big one. one kind of gives me the... Uh, that's generally what a cloud of the garrick is going to look like. So I think that's that's what they are. So they're not eaters. Unless you're in a desperate situation, I think you can cook them and eat them, but they just taste absolutely foul. And give you a belly ache. Oh, and look over here. It's the rare and not often seen compostable coffee cup mushroom. That's an oddball. So we've just uh, stopped off here for Abby to get some conkers um, from this conker tree. There's already some in this pocket. And we found uh, some shaggy parasols. Oh, you found. A little bit moth eaten though, unfortunately. So uh, there'll probably be some maggots in there somewhere. But these are another edible variety no, that uh, I don't like needs cooking. Smells a bit earthy actually, but you have to make sure that you identify them correctly, don't go eating them off the back of this video for crying out loud. But I'm pretty sure these are shaggy parasols, yeah, even though they're not fully open. Uh, no, I can't peel a chestnut now, I'm picking wild mushrooms up, darling. I could cross contaminate. Ah, this might not be a shaggy parasol actually, because of that orange staining. That might indicate a different variety. I need to consult my mushroom book. The Clumber Park Cricket Club. And what a wonderful pavilion they've got as well. Look at that, it's beautiful. Proper thatched roof, timber cottage styly. And there's an actual house over there where people live. They could weigh in away some summer time hours watching somebody hit a cricket ball about. But nah, I'm alright, thanks. Don't think I'll bother. Squirrel. Looks nice though. Where's the squirrel? On the field. Oh, there is, isn't there? One of them grey squirrels. Now, can we go to Some wonderful looking squash. Oh, that's the best pumpkin. The orange pumpkins are the best ones. I like the big these. one. These ones are the ones what I want to get for Halloween. I like those. Look at these fellas though. They're all knobbly and bobbly. I don't want to get those. They look like Pinocchio They do, don't they? Yeah. What about the green ones, Abby? Well, no. no. Abby, this is where the scrumping starts. Because we've got all these wonderful different varieties of apple that we're, we're just help ourselves to a few windfalls. That's all. Oh, the lettuce have bolted. Are you relaxing? <laughs> Here's something that all the brewers on the channel will recognise. Some lovely hops. Let's have a sniff. Oh, they smell quite papery actually. Have we got a variety? Oh, we do. They're Bramling Cross. If you can make that out. Probably not. So these are Bramling Cross gem. They're meant to have a bit of a blueberry note. They, you know what, they kind of do. If you smell that, there's a little bit of a... Mm, they're quite... It's quite Light. fruity, isn't it? Yeah. Are they all the same variety then? Oh no. This one's Northern Brewer. Fuggles. And they're Fuggles, are they? Mm. Fuggles is boring. It's a big hop though. Mmm. Very nice. Is there a label on it? Mm. Golden tassels. Golden tassels. I think that's probably an ornamental then. Is there a name tag on here? Oh, I can't see one. That's a shame. Well, there we go. I, I really like those ones, actually. 
they've uh, they fruited really quite well or flowered Bromling Cross I might give them a whirl actually they look spot on all my fingers are really sticky now with the uh, doodly do with the alpha acids Oh, I don't think that one's quite ready. Okay. Oh, I can see some good ones here. Oh, there's a nice one, Abs. Check him out. You just love those raspberries, don't you? They're like your favourite fruit ever. Yeah. Oh, that's ready. <laughs> it's a proper natural born scrumper. Natural born scrumper. Oh my. I'm going to live here. What, inside the berry bush? Mm hmm. I need to. No! Oh no. The best berry. There's one. Thing is, my fingers smell like hops now, so I can't get away from that smell. Oh, look at that. It's just fallen into pieces. Oh, that was sweet. Yeah. Look at all the different varieties as well. Pick your own heaven. But you're not allowed to pick them, really. Come on, let's go and try some apples. Yeah, cheeky monkey. I'm the berry rubber. Look at all the rhubarb, folks. All the rhubarb. We found one of my favourite apples. The Cox's orange pippin. But there's only one apple on the whole tree. Which is a real shame. Oh. Or is there? What's that? That looks like a pippin to me. Something's already had a bite out of it. <laughs> but we can finish it, Abs, if you like. No, not me, not me. Well, it's a Cox's orange pippin. Let's go for it. Mmm. They are one of the nicest varieties of apple. Do you want to try it, Abs? Mm. Oh yeah. Found the coxes. Uh, there. There's only two apples on the whole tree. Well, there's three trees, but two apples between them. And because something's already bitten into this, I thought, well, I'll finish the rest. Oh, really, it's nice, I was going to try it. You can see why it's a popular apple. I can see the juice coming out of that. It's mm, really nice. <laughs> it is nice, isn't it? Oh my gosh. It's just got a nice bite to it as well. Mm, mm, mm. Now this was one of my favourite areas last year. If we can see through the netting, which might be a bit difficult, we've got uh, some beehives in there and all three of them look to be active. See if we can't. Here we go. Let's have a peek through the net. There they are. So the white hive is definitely the most active of the three. Lots of supers on it as well. Right, don't tell anybody. But I think we've scrumped enough for a crumble or two. But I really highly recommend coming here, folks. Clumber Park, in the heart of Nottinghamshire. I don't know why I'm whispering. Do you know why I'm whispering, Gem? 
Is this another one of those medlar trees? It is. A medlar. Still don't know what they are or what you do with them. Add just one to the middle bit there. Wow. See if you can see them. Oh, beans. 